Welcome back to Tyler Taught Me. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a quick one for you guys, but it's a pretty cool one. I was able to snag one of these brand new 224cc Predators. I'd call it their Gen 3 motors. I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys today, show you around it, and then we're going to compare it to the 212cc just so you can see them side by side. And also going to put it next to the original Harbor Freight motor, which is a Greyhound 212. And I happen to have one of those on a mini bike right here. This is the Gen 1 Greyhound Harbor Freight motor from years ago. It's on a rat rod, so I can't do a side by side, but you can at least see if you guys ever get one of these, they do have different um, side gaskets for over here on the clutch side. This is different because one of the bottom holes is slightly over by like a quarter inch. This is the difference. This is it. That bottom left uh, bolt hole is slightly to the right. This top gasket's the Specialty 196 gasket I had to find, or the Greyhound gasket I had to find. Um, Childish Concepts had it, shout out to them. Um, and this bottom one is every pretty much every other freaking motor they make um, that's 200 to 160 cc. So all the Hondas, like I said, clones, etc., etc. The other thing about these Greyhound gaskets that is different is that the um, valve cover gasket has five bolt holes. Everything else has four, so I had to get that specialty too. But there's the first gen, second gen 212, newest edition 224. As far as gas cap setups, this one's definitely different. Different setup from this guy. These would both be considered non-hemis. I'm not sure if they make a hemi version of this one. They probably don't, but only time will tell on that since it's so new. Um, they do come with these emissions uh, boxes though, so you'll have to t delete that if you want. But pretty similar. Clutch cover side seems to be about the same. I'm guessing they are the same. The electrical seems to be all the same. Of course, there's a oil sensor on off switch. This on off switch seems a little more rinky dink than the 212 off switch but most people replace them anyway they are about the same size this case looks slightly beefier it does have these ridges even up in there a little bit of strength to the case of course the 212 doesn't have that they're pretty smooth all the way around Let's open these jets and see what the differences in these are so it comes with four different jets uh, they're labeling them by feet 2,000 to 3,000 feet, 3,000 to 5,000, 5,000 to 6,000, 6,000 to 7,000. Of course, it's nice to have all these extra gaskets though. So we'll have to mess with these jets. Clearly some are bigger than others. We'll play with that. But that's cool. We've got all these jets to choose from and replacement gaskets. Other things the Max Performance 224 comes with uh, is the uh, funnel. You guys saw that when I opened it. And of course, I just measured all these side cover uh, measurements from bolt to bolt and I compared it to the 212 they're exactly the same so so far we know that's exactly the same I have a feeling almost all of it's gonna be exactly the same down in the bottom but maybe up top this looks a good bit beefier than the 212 um, but we'll see There you have it. First look, oil sensor like usual. Plastic cam gear like everyone was saying. But like I said, I have those in the 196 cc's and I've put stage one kits on those and I've not had any problem. And you can upgrade these really easily. So 
who really cares if you're building this motor you're going to take the original even if it was cast out anyway um governor's over here everything's pretty much the exact same as the 220 go ahead and just pop this guy off that way it'll be easier to get the, the head and everything else off Two different air hoses here. We've got the vent coming from the tank going to this the box down here, the emissions pull-up box, the little coal box or whatever they call it. And then the uh regular vent that you usually have coming off of here. Oh, and then also the vent that you have coming off the head. So there's now two connections to the box. And <laughs> one coming straight from the tank to the to the emissions box down here. It's probably gonna be one of the major only major differences this carb looks exactly the same as the 212 they over tighten the hell out of this uh gasket here though or the bolt whoop look at that the gasket just ripped wore the hole see those indentions and this one got cut because there's the little round piece still on it That'll make you want to buy one, right? Alright. Are we going to have a mess? No. They drained it good. Look at that. Alright. Moment of truth. The back gasket's not messed up. Slightly stuck on there, but it's fine. That we can leave hanging. Next, we're going to go ahead and get this off. Normal old exhaust. Nothing fancy about it. These, this emission box is going to go right now. So, it's held on with a bracket. And there's also a heat shield here that we're going to have to take off to get the uh, to get the head off. But it's just a heat shield. It's one bolt two bolt and then there's also a bracket. I think I can take the whole thing off together though. There's one bolt here, eight millimeter, eight millimeter right here. There you go. That's what you're dealing with. I'm not even taking both of these off. I'm just taking this I'm leaving this on the uh, top of the gas tank because I do want to vent hose up there. Boom. Easy as that. Now you can get rid of this. I definitely keep the heat shield. I'll do that later. Just like every other one. There you go. Nothing too for crazy. We are at TDC. There come our. There's another shot at the head. I'm gonna pop these out and see if uh, Predator ones fit right or 212 ones fit right in there. And here is a stock 212 spring. They are identical. Same thing. I don't even know which one's which now. Same, same poundage too. There you go. Last question I have is, does a head gasket from a regular head gasket kit for a 160 GX, 160, GX 200, a 212, 
and all the 196 cc's will it fit is it the right size we know the side cover is so i'm assuming this would be too and it is exactly the same size so there you go it's pretty much the same exact thing this is a 212 Might be able to save that seal. Same setup. This one's got the governor removed already. But they didn't take out the oil sensor. So I'll end up doing that and plugging that hole. But these are mirrors of each other. Just slightly different with the cast. On a Predator, I already measured this, but it's three and a half inches exact, dead center to dead center. Come over here, three and a half inches exact. Same at the bottom, let's check that. It's gonna be five inches exact. Come over here, five inches exact. Nope, they're exactly the same. This just has the plastic. This has the metal. I also wanted to measure these with a the caliper and not just the tape measure. Um, I know these are right around 14. Um, and I know for a fact that the cams are interchangeable. Any of the cam kits should fit both of these motors. I don't know if the crank is interchangeable. I'm assuming that it probably is, but the arm is not because they both have different strokes. So one's smaller than the other. Um, and that's, you know, pretty much the main difference. As far as piston, they're both 70 millimeter um, for stock. So most pistons should work in both of these. I know there's a lot of options out there, so do all your measurements. But the other thing I noticed is that this housing is much wider than the 212 housing. 224 housings beefier that that kind of goes with my theory that they want you to build these to compete with the 223s and stuff like that out there what are we looking at nine centimeters three and a half inches what is this guy way smaller looking at three flat seven and a half centimeters So, kind of goes with my theory. I think almost everything else is exactly the same. So to end it off, I'm gonna give you guys just a rundown of specs real quick on both of these, uh, make it easy. We'll start with the 224cc, the newest motor. I'm gonna start with um, horsepower, 6.6 .6 horsepower. Um, so we're up by 0 0.6 obviously from the 212. Uh, max RPM here is gonna be 3750. And that's with plus or minus 50. Uh, they give you a wiggle room on the spec sheet for some reason. Uh, the max torque on the 224 is going to be 10.23 feet. Stroke length, the one everyone's wondering, or at least I was wondering, is 58 millimeters. For the 212, horsepower, 6.5 of course. Max RPM, 3600. Max torque, we've got 8.1 foot-pounds. So... And that's at 2,500 RPM, it says. So, obviously a good bit different there. Um, and then the stroke length is 55 millimeters on this guy. It's a little bit shorter. So they lengthen the stroke on the 224, and I think that's how they're pushing out the extra couple of um, CC that they're, they're claiming. The other main difference is that the 224 is, in fact, reinforced. The 212 is not. Um, so they're definitely wanting you to build the 224. Also, this is a Dukar block. At least it says it inside. I know people have been talking about that. Um, it does say Dukar. So do what you want with that information. All these things are starting to be pretty interchangeable at this point. That's it. That's how it breaks down, guys. 
I'm going to get this thing back together, get it on something cool so you guys can see what I'm doing with, uh, with it next, either a bike or a go-kart. Um, so we'll see what that torque's really about. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned.